People here tell us that the flood water in this area was rising for three days. They say the landslide happened on the third night, leaving this giant hole, as you can see, it's got to be around 50 feet deep. They say there were a number of fields of crops that were also swept away. Uta Tufa inspects what remains of his maize crop. We were sleeping. There was a sudden bang. It sounded like an exploding dynamite. Boom. When we came out of our homes, we saw the road had split in half. I have lost virtually all my crops. I have sent my family and cattle away. I'm waiting for help. The government says around 100 people have been killed in floods and landslides like this one in recent weeks. The UN says at least 20,000 families have been forced to flee their homes. Now, the high sudden rainfall is being blamed yet again on El Nino, which has had a devastating effect not only here in Ethiopia, but in the wider region and beyond. And bear in mind that Ethiopia is already dealing with the worst drought crisis in 50 years. The government's saying that more than 10 million people need emergency food aid in the drought affected areas alone. So floods and landslides like this just compounding the difficulties in getting that food aid to the affected areas.